Hello everyone! On the table, we have a bunch of serial enunciators used on simplex fire alarm panels. Each of these enunciators communicates in the main panel via serial communications and are powered from a 24 volt DC source. This video will explore some of the more common simplex enunciators. So let's jump right into this. First, let's start with the LED switch enunciators, specifically the 4602 9101 Status Control Unit, or SCU, and the 4602-9102 Remote Control Unit, or RCU. These enunciators were used as far back as the mid to late 1980s with the 4002. The SCU provides 16 points of enunciation, while the RCU provides 8 points, alongside a built-in piezo and operator controls. Older variants of these enunciators came in a variety of red and yellow LED layouts, streamlined to all red LEDs with later models. Each enunciator has two sets of dip switches. One sets the serial address, while the other sets the kind of panel it's connected to. For the 4002, the LED mapping of each point is also set with these dip switches. The SCU and RCU will be updated to operate on the 4005, 4020, 4100 series, later 2120s, and ES series panels. For these panels, each LED point can be programmed for a variety of uses. Out of all the enunciators in this video, the 4602 SCU and RCU has the highest variety of compatible panels it can operate on. Next is the 4610-9111 LED switch enunciator, designed for use on the 4006 and 4008 panels. There are 16 points of enunciation, with 10 red LEDs and 6 yellow LEDs, alongside basic operating controls, piezo, and a key lock. Each point can be individually programmed from their respective panels. While this enunciator is limited to the 4006 and 4008, some experimentation showed it can work on some other panels, like the 4010 Classic. Here's a quick video of the enunciator in action. Now let's take a look at some LCD enunciators. Each of these enunciators mimics the LCD display of the main panel, alongside operating buttons, piezo, and a key lock. A single set of dip switches is used to set the address and baud rate. Here is the 4603-9101 enunciator, designed for use on the 4100 series panels, as well as the 4020. The earliest variants were used with the 4100 Classic in the late 80s. Such versions lack the priority 2 alarm indicator. With later 4100 Plus and 4020 panels in the early to mid 1990s, the enunciator will be updated to accommodate the priority 2 alarm condition. In the early 2010s, the enunciator will be overhauled with a new bezel, LEDs, circuit board, and an updated key lock. These newer enunciators also added new features such as tracking the first alarm and piezo disable. Around the same time, the 4606 9102 enunciator will be released for use with the 4010 ES. It is nearly identical to the 4603-9101, except it only has three user-defined buttons instead of four. Stepping back to the late 1990s, the 4606-9101 enunciator would be released. Originally designed for the 4010 Classic, later revisions of the 4006 and 4008 also supported this enunciator. The original design differed from the 4603-9101, 
with a closer resemblance to the 4010 keypad. There are no user-defined buttons, but there are three programmable LEDs. A later variant in the early 2010s would be closer in design to the 4603-9101, while maintaining the same button and LED layout. With the release of the 4007 ES in 2014, a new touchscreen enunciator would accommodate the panel, the 4606, 9202, and 9205. These enunciators closely resemble the button variety of the 4010 ES, but with a full touchscreen interface. Besides basic operating controls, the touchscreen closely replicates the menu structure of the main panel. Thus, features typically restricted to the main panel, such as walk test, are accessible from a remote location. This flexibility is also shared with the 4100 info alarm and ESTSD remote displays. And that's it for the overview on Simplex serial enunciators. If you have questions or comments on any of these enunciators, feel free to post them below. But until next time, have a nice day.